like I'm wasted My heart grows heavy Don't taste me rushing And keep your words naked You got me blushing Hey guys, I'm Tash I'm Deb And this is actually our very first tutorial for our new series that we've just started off we're really really excited for our first look this is what we created it's very mm -hmm. soft and very sultry and very glam at the same time yeah it's also really really easy to recreate everything we use are probably stuff that you kind of own in a way yeah. even if it's not the exact brand you probably own products so similar to it so you could easily recreate this look and it's about personal preferencing as well because obviously you might not like a certain color that we use but you might like a certain technique so you can be taking that away and it's about you know multi-using products mm -hmm. as well i mean what's good is when you watch our video which we'll play in a few seconds we both do stuff differently you know i have a different technique to dev and dev has a different technique to me that's the beauty of all these beauty products yeah. actually because you can apply it however you want and get the exact same result and it looks good on everyone and it's about adapting to your style as well for example we both use two different lip liners because mm -hmm. that's the way we like it yeah so for example I use the darker lip liner where the Tashfia she likes the more natural one mm -hmm. so it's about you know adapting it to you as well yeah which is so great about you know these tutorials that are to come yeah so we're really 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 excited to finally get this up we've been talking about this for such a long time and we finally filmed this and yeah we're very very excited also we have got a separate bloopers video so if you want to watch that then you can go you know click down below and you can watch that one. exactly and also make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to us for some more videos and also subscribe to Devika's channel because she does have a separate channel <laughs> where she will create way more looks and stuff this is just what we're doing together but she has her own channel where she creates more videos and looks for you guys I so, hope yeah. you enjoy yes this. we hope you enjoy it bye guys bye. Mwah. stay beautiful so guys, starting off, we both applied moisturiser off camera and then we moved on to using the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer. This primer gives a really nice base and it's nice and luminous so your foundation looks really natural underneath. With this primer, we both applied this in different ways. I ended up using my hands to just rub it into my skin very softly. And I dotted it around my face and then blended it out with my stippling brush. Now moving on to foundation, we actually mix two different ones together. We use the L'Oreal Lumi Magique foundation and the L'Oreal True Match foundation. What I actually did was I placed both of these foundations on the back of my hand and mixed them together and Devika applied it onto her face and then used a stippling brush to buff it into her skin whereas I just used my expert face brush. And then at the end we both grabbed a beauty blender and just pressed it all over our face to kind of give us that kind of sleek finish because we didn't want it to look cakey and to make sure that there were no brush lines on the face. Moving on to eyebrows, Tashfia used her Sleek Naturals palette in the shade Bark and I used from the collection palette the lightest colour and the darkest colour and mixed them together. I then set mine with the brow gel that comes with it. This is both of our everyday brow routines. So now it is time for the lovely eyes. So to begin with, we had to prime our eyelids because we wanted the makeup to stay on as long as possible. So we used the Lorac Pro Eye Primer and applied that all over up to the brow bone. And then we took the Mary Luminizer Highlighter and we applied that all over our eyelid and also we applied it onto our brow bones. For the crease, we took the Balm Nude Dude Volume 2 palette and the shade Friendly and put this in our crease and really blended it out. The thing about this shade is that it's completely up to you however much you want to build it up. I built my one up quite a lot whereas you can see on Dev's eyes she didn't build it up as much. So just keep going and find your personal preference.
eyeliner, me and Tashvia used two different eyeliners and two different techniques. Tashvia used the Maybelline 24 hour long lasting gel eyeliner in noir black and I used my collection felt tip liner and you can see here Tashvia is just drawing her eyeliner on along with a flick and I placed the tape on the corners of my eyes and I'm drawing the line and using the sellotape as a guide for my flick. So as always, whenever it comes to me honestly filming my look or my eyeliner on camera, I always seem to somehow mess up my eyeliner and make it way too thick, which is exactly what I did yet again on camera. And that is why I pulled a very funny face because I got so frustrated with myself. Now it is time to brighten our under eyes and conceal and also highlight in some ways. So we both use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewinder Eye Eraser and that long ass name that we just can't be bothered to say. And we applied that under our eyes, down the bridge of our nose, on our forehead, cupid's bow and some on the chin and just around the lips. I then grabbed my expert face brush which is what I use to buff in my foundation at the beginning and Devika grabbed her beauty blender and just blended all of her concealer out. Using the Rimmel London Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder, we baked in all those areas that we highlighted and concealed before. We both used the Real Technique sponge to do this. So what we did was we left the translucent powder for around 5 to 10 minutes, it completely depends on you, but we left it for around 5 minutes and then we just brushed it off with a big fluffy brush. Now it's time for my favourite part, we then decided to contour because, come on guys, like we need that to just make the look amazing. So we use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Espresso. The places we contoured were the obvious cheekbone along the forehead, on the jawbones, down the sides of our nose, just under the lip and I did also go a little bit on the sides of my cupid's bow. I then took my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush once again and I started to buff upwards, kind of back to my ear and just buff it so that it blended in nicely and Dev used the Real Techniques sponge and she did the exact same motions and just buffed upwards and blended it all in nicely. I then took my stippling brush and went over the contour just to blend it out nicely.
After blending out our contour, what we needed to do was set it, so we took the Bahama Mama powder and we applied that everywhere that we had applied the LA Pro contour. We then moved straight onto blush and we grabbed our Ben Nye palette and used the colour Golden Amber and applied that onto the apples of our cheeks. So after the blush, we now needed to add in our final touches of highlight. So we took our Mary Luminizer once again and applied this on all the high points of our faces. Moving on to mascara, we both used the L'Oreal Force Lash Sculpt and applied that to our top lashes and also our bottom lashes. After applying a coat of mascara, what we did was we moved on to the lower lash line and what we needed to do for that was apply two different shadows, well one eyeshadow which was the friendly that we used in our crease and then we also took the Mary Luminizer and applied that kind of from the inner corner outwards. So we did like half and half or you could say that we also went three quarters in. Finally, we applied the L'Oreal False Lash Sculpt Mascara to our bottom lashes. And for my favourite part, the false eyelashes, the Ilior 157s and I used the Sephora Minx eyelashes. Finally, we are at the end of the tutorial and what we did was we needed to apply some lip liner and also the final product which was a Maybelline lip product. Tashfia used the lip liner Pure Colour by New Look in the shade 23 and I used the L'Oreal Paris Cappuccino 653 lip liner and for the liquid lipstick we used the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid in the shade number 5 Nude Thrill. And this right here guys is the final look. It was so fun to do and really easy to create. We hope you enjoyed watching the video. And we love you all and hope to see you in the next video. Stay beautiful my loves. Bye. Bye. So guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed watching us do our makeup. We had such a fun time filming this video. It was such a blast. It took us like three days to yes. film. But it was freaking great and we really like the outcome. This is something we both wear like to so many different yes. events. It can be worn to a wedding, to a party, to a birthday party, a club. You can wear it everywhere. Yeah, That's and the, the beauty thing. of it is it's so easy to recreate. It's easy it's and so it's easy. really versatile as yes. well. So yeah, we do hope you enjoyed the video. Yes. And uh, leave us any requests that you have down um, below. Yes, and a thumbs up because... Mm -hmm. It did take a lot of hard work, so yes. props to Tashfia. She put in a lot of hard work and effort. Props so. to both of us. Do you know how many technical difficulties we oh had? Oh my god, I know. <laughs> Can't wait to film so many more tutorials for you guys. Make sure to check out our bloopers because we had a lot of very funny bloopers that we couldn't fit into this video because otherwise this video would be like 20 minutes long. So we created a separate video for you and we do hope you enjoy that. I'll put the link down below. Also make sure to subscribe to Devika's separate channel and um, yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day. I hope you all stay beautiful and... I shall see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Mwah.